Hey everyone, Garbage here. So recently I made a poll asking people about whether or not they play games with ray tracing enabled or not, with the result being that roughly 80% of the people that responded are playing their games with ray tracing off. And this came as no surprise to me. In fact, I was expecting a very similar result to this. And so right off the bat, we can go ahead and say that the biggest reason why people are not playing games with ray tracing enabled is that they can't afford the graphics cards or the consoles that are capable of playing games with ray tracing. So 2080 Ti and above, or Xbox Series X, PlayStation 5, they're just too expensive for people to afford and so they can't ray trace. And so I personally am a part of this group. I'm playing my games on a GTX 1060, and you're definitely not getting ray tracing on that. I mean, I was planning on upgrading, but then the pandemic hit, and we got the chip shortage, and crypto mining started blowing up, and as a result, the graphics cards got way too expensive for me to afford, and so I just haven't been able to upgrade. And so this group represents the vast majority of gamers who are not playing games with ray tracing enabled. But then there's a whole nother group of people out there who do have the hardware to play games with ray tracing on, but they choose not to. And the reasons why are actually pretty interesting. Ultimately, it all boils down to performance. Ray tracing is a very resource intensive process. It takes up a lot of computing power and the improvement in graphics that you get just isn't enough to justify the decreased performance that you get when playing games. Because as it turns out, surprise, surprise, gamers are sweaty as heck and all we care about is getting the best performance possible so that we can click on heads. There's that meme floating around that gamers will spend $3,000 buying a graphics card just so that they could play their games on the lowest settings. It sounds funny, but there's actually an element of truth there. Ultimately, for a lot of gamers, frames per second is more important than good graphics. Not to mention that the alternative to ray tracing, which is rasterization, and that's sort of like the standard for graphics right now, that's getting really good. And so what you'll find these days is that the difference between ray trace graphics and non-ray trace graphics are actually surprisingly similar. Like there's not a night and day difference between turning RTX on and turning it off. And so this leaves ray tracing in kind of an awkward spot because very few people use ray tracing. Very few game companies even bother with adding ray tracing support support to their games. Right now, as it stands, the main market for ray tracing are people who are graphics enthusiasts, who have a lot of money, and prioritize graphics over performance, which is a very small market. And let's not forget that the rise of mobile gaming and how big and profitable that market is turning out to be, companies may choose to prioritize making games for mobile, which as we all know has limited hardware, and you're definitely not getting ray tracing on that, over investing in improving ray tracing for a very small market. I want ray tracing to be popular. I think it's a really cool technology, but what I think it really needs is like a killer app to justify its costs. You know, smartphones are expensive, but pretty much everyone has one because they know that buying one will add a huge amount of value to their life. And similarly, ray tracing needs to provide some kind of benefit to gamers that is so huge and obvious that pretty much everyone will buy it despite the cost because otherwise they'll just get left behind. And right now we don't really have anything like that. So here's my question. Does ray tracing have a future in gaming or is it going to disappear? Is it going to become one of those interesting fads that we had for a while only to ultimately get replaced by something else? Who knows? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Anyways, like, subscribe, bell for more gaming related content, links to my discord and Twitter down below. I also stream on this channel on a semi-regular basis. Thanks for watching and as always, have a nice day.